So the idea right now is to get a crap ton of cages that I can swap in and out and take advantage of these Dean's connectors. Obviously my primary one is going to be the Dr. Snickers flywheel cage, XP 180s, 16 gauge wire, and then this also has an aluminum barrel shroud that's over the brass. So when you see it through the clear parts, it's going to be nice and aluminum, and that is going to be that one. And then I have the BSP flywheel cage, and this is a clear. This is not the crystal clear that I plan on doing the rest of the parts in. This is the standard clear that I sell, but this is a very complicated mold, and... I can't really afford to keep the mold out of commission for that long because this has to, the other one has to cure for three days inside the mold, and that is a very long time to go without a mold. So I'm just gonna do this one for now. It's perfectly fine for me. And this is just rhinos with standard flywheels. I am not using worker flywheels because there's really no need for these. Uh, this gets plenty of grip and it doesn't improve the accuracy at all to have these. It only improves the balance. This isn't really a high enough torque to handle the heavier flywheels. You really need some 180s to deal with worker flywheels. So since these are 130s, I'm just going to stick with the standard flywheels, and that's perfectly fine for me. This is going to be windowed, and I'll have some LEDs pointing on there. And so either way, you'll get a cool show, either the aluminum or the clear, and that is going to look super cool. And I might have some other cages, but either way, I'll have a big enough battery place for it. Okay, so the first part of sanding is pretty much completed, all of the shaping. As you can see, all the white parts are either epoxy putty or epoxy sculpt. Those are two different things. And then you have all of the red stuff, which is spot putty. And that is coming out pretty smooth. I've removed all of the logos because everyone told me to. And I've devconned in some of my pieces. This is the magazine well motor cover. And these are all polyurethane, of course. And I like this one because you kind of have the slant up here and here. And so it's not quite so boxy when it sticks out of the blaster, which bugs me on a lot of them. And then I have some crystal clear parts. Now these differ from the ones that I sell on my Etsy store because they are actually crystal clear as opposed to my Etsy ones, which are slightly yellowed. Now, I would like to sell these, but unfortunately I can't because these take up my mold for three days, and it's just extremely toxic to cast these, and there's a hundred other things that I'm not going to go into why I can't do these, but unfortunately these will not be for sale at all, ever, so I apologize for that, but uh, these are crystal clear and those are gonna be LED lit. I have plans on casting this entire thing in crystal, but I'm not quite sure if I can pull that off before NVZ or not. Definitely something in the future that I wanna at least try, but who knows. Oh, I also have a hole here for the button that is going to activate the voltmeter that's gonna be mounted up here. Oh, I should probably make this video later. I'm really not doing very well right now. And I normally try to turn off my fan, which is what you're hearing in the background, a bunch of stuff. But I, I'm i just trying to get through the day. Right now I have a lot of quotas to meet and I'm still trying to get through it. So I apologize for the background fan. This is the stuff that I sell. This is the normal clear. You can see it has a slight yellow hint to it. And there's not really a, a whole lot I can do about that. I'll explain it further in a minute. And then if you come over here, these are crystal parts. And... Uh, with smaller things like this, the variation is very minimal. But when you get into thicker pieces like this, you can actually see quite a bit the difference in color there. Now, unfortunately, I cannot sell this crystal resin because it is very, very toxic when it's not cured. It has a viscosity of 600, and this stuff has a viscosity of 110. If you don't know what that means, that's basically meaning this stuff is much, much thicker. It's much harder to work with. It takes a little longer to cure, and by a little longer, I mean this one I have to leave in for about two hours. This one I have to leave in for three days, which means my mold is completely unusable for three days. So I cannot sell this one. I will not sell this one. So, uh, th that's not for sale in the slightest. These are meant for LEDs, 
they look really, really great with LEDs. You don't notice the yellowing at all, which is the only reason why I'm even selling them. But me being me, me having access to this stuff, I have the ability to make this stuff for myself. So this is going into my hyper strife because I have that luxury. Day 3,412, still sanding. Filled this in with epoxy putty and then spot putty. Sanded that down and I'm pretty sure that is finished. And as you can see, those lines go perfectly onto the top of the little well there, and that's really cool. So that's definitely going to be incorporated into the paint job. I epoxy the frame on, and then I put epoxy putty around on the inside and outside, which in hindsight might have been a mistake, but uh, for the most part, I took most of it off. Um, some places like back here needed it, in here, and stuff like that. And then after sanding that down, I went over the entire thing with spot putty, and I have yet to sand that. But spot putty is very soft and it's very easy to remove, so that's not going to be a problem. Altogether, I probably have 25 hours of sanding into it, and probably another 10 hours into the integration. There we go, I have attached the plate. Obviously, there is masking tape on the underside, and then I'm going to be masking this entire thing off for painting. But that is the window installed, I'm very happy with how that's come out. Nice and smooth, all the way around, and and we'll just get a good overview of it. I think it's coming out great so far, so the next part is to go ahead and paint it up, and I need to cast, I still need to mold and cast the cheek rest, as well as the sling points, but that is pretty much the bodywork complete, and that is what I wanted to do for this update, so pretty happy with myself. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.